I've always loved the game of football. Uh, it's always been around my family, always been around my friends, and so football has always had like, you know, this dominant place into my life, into what I do, and it's molded me as a person. But coming to Randolph-Macon is, without a doubt, the best decision that I've ever made in my life. First, first thought when, when it crossed my mind, my, my granddad broke the news to me after the game, and I just, I was in disbelief. I couldn't believe it. It's a crazy, crazy thing. But then you look into it, and I've been able to play for a great organization, great, great program for the last four going on five years, and we've had some pretty good success. I've been running behind a great offensive line for the last four years, so. You know, with the amount of carries I get, uh, I guess I should have this many yards. You know, that makes sense. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's a great thing uh, for our program, for our culture. And I'm proud to, you know, be the one running the ball on Saturdays. I mean, that was a, it was a wild game uh, from start to finish. Those guys, they came out ready to play, and they were hitting on all cylinders. But um, I knew that. Our team had uh, plenty of faith, and we, we never got down on ourselves at any point in the game. Um, there, was, there was no point in the game where we expected that we would lose that game. And so going into that last drive, you know, we're down by, I think it was five points at the time. Um, we're down by four or five points. The guys are like, yeah, we can win this. And so coach just did what we always do, and he's pounding the rock. and. Uh, sending in those, those inside zone plays, and we're running down the field and executing. And so when that last, when that last uh, play was called and we played, uh, when we ran the inside zone, I just tried to take advantage of the opportunity. So my freshman year, I, I struggled uh, through camp and, you know, the learning curve as normal freshmen do. Going to the Avery game, uh, that, that game week, I was struggling with my elbow and I couldn't understand why I didn't have like any push and I was, you know, getting a lot of like feedback from my elbow just like it was blowing up and one day in practice coach was like, hey man, if you can't go, you can't go. And um, so the, the next night when I went to class, my professor said, hey, you should probably get your elbow checked out because I was struggling to pay attention in class at that point. And um, so when we went, we went out to go to practice the next day, coach uh, took my, my mentor, Ryan Duncan, and he said, hey, I need you to take this guy to the hospital and get his arm checked out. So I went and they admitted me that day. I stayed for a week and a half and I had to have surgery. I had to have an abscess removed um, from the inner part of my elbow. And uh, so it took me out for the season. Coach uh, offered the red shirt opportunity. And at the time I was in, extremely on board with it. And, as you can tell, I still am on board with it. Wow, um, there's been a ton. Um, you, can look, you can look back at my sophomore year, at my first real start, real career start. Uh, we played Dickinson up, up north, and um, we were talking to you know, one of Coach's good friends, because you know, he doesn't let just anybody come and talk to our team. And so he came in and he asked, he said, uh, close your eyes. and you know, tell me what you see yourself doing on the field tomorrow. And I was the only one in the room that said, you know, I feel like tomorrow I could fail, I could mess up. And uh, on the, I think it was the second or third drive of the game, we were backed up on our own five. And we took an outside uh, zone play for 95 yards. And Coach Arusa and Eric Hoyer running side by side by me down the sideline. And that, that might be my most memorable moment because, you know, you know, the coach took a chance on me as a running back and in the culture, and yeah, that's that's one that I always look back on. And I was like, I think that was my start. That was you know just the the kick to my career. Randolph Macon has and always will have a special place in my heart. Um, they were one of maybe three schools that actually wanted to take a chance on me to come and play football. You know, me being a small guy. Um, you know, not knowing exactly where I would fit in on the field. Uh, Coach Ruza, he said, hey, if you come in and you work hard, you'll have a chance to play, as he tells everybody that comes here. I've always loved the game of football. Uh, it's always been around my family, always been around my friends, and so football has always had, like, you know, this dominant place 
into my life, into what I do, and it's molded me as a person. But coming to Randolph-Macon is, without a doubt, the best decision that I've ever made in my life. I'm glad to be one of the guys on the team that's a culture keeper, and that's the message we're hoping that everybody can become a culture keeper. And if you're changing the culture, you're only changing it positively, you know, so that we can keep this thing rolling and, you know, climb the ladder. So I'm glad to have the opportunity to lead these young guys and try to influence them the way my mentors and the older guys influenced me while I was here and I was a young kid. So being in these shoes, is, it's just it's a great opportunity. I, I'm glad to be, you know, one of Coach Ruse's go-to guys this year. I'm glad to be somebody that he has faith in and he trusts to lead this team in this organization.